Hi, this is Isabel Litzler, and this video is about how to use the web to find a job using uh, keywords. So this is something that's going to differentiate you from someone who's maybe not advanced in terms of job searching skills. So I want to give you three tips today on how to use the web to develop your, uh, your job search to the next level. So the first one is to use the right keywords. So when you go online and you use a, uh, a search, you should uh, make sure that you separate each keyword by the plus sign and make sure you use the right keyword. So meaning you shouldn't be too broad. So for example, if you're looking for a job in finance and you just put finance and maybe Geneva or Switzerland, that's too broad. So what you want to do is make sure that you check the job description for your type of job that you're looking for, pick up some keywords there that are relevant and then separate them by the plus sign. So it would look something like uh, treasurer, uh, you know, corporate plus Geneva or something like that. So that you're extremely, extremely specific and you will pull extremely specific uh, job descriptions that recruiters posted somewhere. So the idea here is um, to find the jobs that are hidden because uh, most people, when they post a job, it's a little bit of everything and anything. It could be placed in the right section of the job boards. But sometimes if the recruiter misrepresented uh, the job under the wrong job category, for example, it could not be pulled when you're looking for a job uh, under the job board, for example, on the finance, if it was placed by mistake on the marketing. So the idea with the keywords online is that you're actually pulling jobs that may be misplaced, miscategorized, uh, hard to find, etc. And it will also give you visibility on maybe new job boards or new places where there's job listings. So when you find this, you will look on Google, for example, maybe in the first three pages, you will find a lot of very good resources. So you should definitely do this as a plus to finding jobs on job boards. So it's called the Boolean searches and it can be used also by recruiters looking for candidates. They do the same thing. They do uh, keywords uh, separated by the plus sign and they will find uh, hidden profiles. This is used mostly for people who are looking for specialists in IT because those people are not necessarily looking for any jobs because they already have a job. So they're not really placed, uh, they're not advertising themselves online, let's put it that way, because they're recruited already. So they're hard to find, their profile will be hard to find. People like uh, web developers, they're uh, bombarded by job uh, offers basically, so they're not actually very visible. So you have to find them where they are hidden. So it's the other way around, recruiters looking for the hidden profiles. So the Boolean searches is really useful. When you use LinkedIn, you can also do the same thing. Uh, under groups, to find the groups uh, that you want, you can do uh, marketing, uh, social media, for example, Geneva, and you will find some groups. You can also do it in the searches for jobs. So uh, Boolean searches I find are extremely, extremely helpful. Uh, make sure that you use that in your job search. Number two is to understand the main idea when you're looking for a job and you use a search engine. So meaning you need to understand a little bit further what will the recruiter, if I were a recruiter looking for this job, where would I place the job? You know, in what type of uh, areas of the web, you know, where would it be visible? And sometimes it's not what you think. I've seen a lot of job ads recently under social media. So Twitter, LinkedIn, there's a lot of job ads there. So if you haven't tapped into those, you know, start a profile right now, you know, open a profile on Twitter, open a profile on LinkedIn. This video is not necessarily training on social media, but if you're looking for social media support to develop your profile, to be more visible, feel free to book a session with me. My one-to-one -one services are not free because it's time and expertise from me. So uh, people need to go on my website and book time with me one-to-one. -one, and I will help you with these things. This is something I've been doing now for many years. So I know exactly what you need to do to be visible online. So make sure that you uh, book a session that uh, you get support on your project to save you time. So number two is really to be visible online and to understand what you're looking for, how to be found, etc. Number three is uh, to definitely check career pages of the companies that you're looking for. So a lot of companies for different reasons choose not to post in uh, job boards because they find it useless. A lot of people now uh, go and apply for everything just to get a job. So it's a problem for companies because they don't have time. They want to find the right resource. So they want to go a little bit straight to, uh, to the individual that they want. 
So they will either do the Boolean searches to find those hidden profiles or they will do events to attract the right people or they will just post the job on their web pages. Sometimes it's enough. Uh, some companies have such branding capacity, you know, I'm thinking about Nestle and all those. They have so many visitors to their web pages that people will find them anyways. So some Sometimes you can just find a job like that. You just uh, save the careers pages under bookmark and you go and visit every week. I wouldn't do it faster than that because if you go every day, you're not going to find a big changes and it's a waste of time in your job search. So uh, just visit the career pages maybe once a week of your favorite companies. Of course, you need to understand which are your favorite companies. So feel free to watch my video that I've just done last week called uh, how to position yourself or I explain how to find you know the the market and, and search the market first so once you understand which companies are recruiting in your profile then you can save those uh, recruitment or uh, careers pages under bookmark and check regularly so uh, I hope this was helpful feel free to post below and I will talk to you soon